Capricorn, how are you guys doing? Welcome to my channel. I hope all is well. I hope you guys are doing amazing, right? Um, thank you for all of your donations, your love, your support. Thank you. All right, so let's get started. Let's see what spirit has to say for you guys today. What is going on with my Capricorns? What do they need to know for their highest good? What's going on with my Capricorns? What's going on with my Capricorn spirit? Sun, moon, Venus, rising signs. What's going on with them at this time? Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow. Definitely healing at this time. Um, I feel like you guys are in a place where I feel like you guys are moving away from um, not putting yourself first, really. Not putting yourself first. Um, just moving into a more balanced space, honestly. Uh, yeah, I feel like you guys are now looking at like, where have I put my investments? Um, where am I going to put my investments in the future? And how I need to heal. Okay, I feel like you guys have possibly been through a lot. Okay, you've been through a lot here and I'm feeling like you guys are in a place where it's like you're honestly coming to that place where it's like I need to change. I need to change my environment. I need to change uh, the people around me and I need to start honestly healing myself because I feel like in the past, right, this could be you or your person, but I feel like someone didn't really want to accept that they were in a lot of pain, that they were in a place of darkness and they were possibly in a place that they weren't pleasing themselves, but they were pleasing someone else, right? But I feel like at this time, someone's really in a space where they're like, universe, um, I am so happy that I'm out of this place. I'm out of this place of giving and not being in a place of balance, right? I feel like someone was carrying a lot of weight on their shoulder, a lot of, and it was possibly because of children or there was a child here involved in this. And I feel like someone is in a place where it's like, I have to invest a lot in my children, but I don't feel like I'm balanced. I don't feel like I'm balanced in this relationship, or I don't feel like I'm balanced in this past relationship, or I was balanced in this past relationship. But I feel like there's like a heavy energy of wanting to grow, wanting to um, focus on things that are important, right? But more so here, I feel like someone is really focusing on their heart space, wanting to focus on like the things that makes them happy. Okay, because I feel like in the past here, someone, someone was concealing a lot of pain, concealing a lot of pain and also trying to make something work that just did not want to work. It was like they put all of their energy, they invested all of their time, all of their effort into something here and it just wouldn't come out the way they wanted to that's what i'm getting let's get some let's get some more messages here let's get some more messages what is going on with my capricorn spirit at this time what's going on with my capricorn spirit what's going on with my capricorns what do we need to know what do we need to know um yeah so somebody at this time is really just giving up, okay? Turning their back, like seriously, turning their back on stress, turning their back on things that no longer serve them. Like I've literally been drained from this situation. I've been drained. I've been, to say the least, I've been drained. But I feel like someone is at a point where it's like, side story I feel like someone here possibly did not take a risk on something for some of you guys okay in the past here I feel like someone either you or your person someone here kept someone in this hold position someone kept someone on a hold position and I feel like someone had to turn their back and someone had to honestly leave. Okay, this may be you, Capricorn. But someone had to honestly leave and give up on a situation that was no longer working. And now I feel like you guys are in a point where it's like, you know what? Someday, another day, another lifetime. Because I've literally put all my time and effort into the situation to only get left behind. 
to only get like third best. Like I was never a priority to this situation, to this person. And for some of you guys, this person put other people ahead of you, walked off or walked away with another person. And I feel like this person possibly told you like, you know, let's just put this aside or let's just try to focus this on this another time. Or someone told you why you weren't good enough, right? They possibly didn't say that verbatim, but they were just like, mm, I don't think this is best. And I feel like someone just stepped into healing mode. Stepped into healing mode where they had to. It wasn't even like a choice. It was like you had to go into that temperance moment. Could have been dealing with a Sagittarius or have Sagittarius in your chart. But I feel like you stepped into this place where it's like, I have to heal myself. I've been rejected. My efforts have been rejected and I have to do this for myself. I have to do this for my mental well-being, right? Time. I feel like a lot of you guys stepped into a place where it's like only time could heal this. Like seriously, only time could heal this for me. Only only time could heal this is what I'm hearing. Because I feel like you guys were in a cycle. It was like this ongoing cycle of trying to please someone that was just never pleased with your efforts. And I feel like at some point you were just like, okay, like I see the light. I see the truth. I see the truth in everything that's going on. And I'm choosing to not even choosing. I have to. But I feel like for some reason there's like an energy of a child here or someone may have been acting as if. I don't want to call anybody a child, but somebody was acting as if they didn't know what was the more mature route to take. OK, and now they're in a place where it's like. I feel like this person in the past felt like this was some this was the right choice. This was the best bet for me, like, you know, like they invested in the wrong place. Someone invested in the wrong place here and now. I feel like there's like this healing energy spirit. What else is going on here? What else is going on here for my confusion? Yeah. Yeah. Somebody was very confused, very confused here. Made like an abrupt decision. Right. And they thought like the intimacy would have like cleared this confusion, this closeness, like the intimacy would have possibly brought you back. Someone made a decision and invested in the wrong thing here invested in the wrong person and now they're in a place where they're not clear or this person was not clear when they were making this decision when they were choosing someone else because i do see other energies here okay this energy may be work and maybe whatever but someone here was not clear and i feel like for you capricorn this may be you where you were not clear of why someone would do this to you or someone would just dismiss your presence or not even acknowledge your presence i feel like you came to a place where you were living in confusion and the universe had to literally step in to make things clear for you and now you're in a place where you're healing and you're just like okay i'm gonna invest my time heart all of that into healing and relaxing and not stressing focusing on my job focusing and this could be a job situation where someone didn't choose you but either way, guys, I feel like there's this energy of I have to heal now. I really have to heal now. And it's like now you're starting to realize like you're looking back at that person, right, that you were. And it's like, wow, like I was literally I was literally like the underdog. Like I like they never put me first. Like they never made me uh, first best or a priority. Spirit, what else do we have here? Whoa. Yeah. See, that's the thing. Like, there was there was this energy of, like, there was this deep love here. That's why you were so confused. Feminine energy. She was so confused. So confused. She tried to talk. She tried to express herself, but... And I feel like this person, whoever you were dealing with, was shutting out their intuition. Like they were not, like they wouldn't listen to their self. Like they wouldn't listen to their heart space. This decision that they made was all about 
the mind. Like it was so logical. It was like, okay, this is what I need to do. Yes, I'm, I love you. There's this deep love, but I got to put this aside right now because I'm, I'm confused. They were confused. If anything, you were confused. You were in a state where you're like, yeah, like, come on. And then we have apology. I don't know if this came up for you guys last time. For some of you guys, you may be getting an apology, okay, whether it's this feminine energy that wants to apologize or she deserves an apology, take it how it resonates, right? But I feel like someone was in a space where they were just entirely confused, confused about how they were being treated, confused of how this connection was dismissed or this connection has so much, um, you know, drama that doesn't even make any sense. I feel like this connection was just seriously deep and I feel like your person was confused about it they really couldn't define this connection it was something that was new to them it was like when they met you it was like yes I love this person I love Capricorn right take, take it how it resonates I love this person but I've never felt this emotion before like it's kind of scary and I feel like this feminine energy kept on whispering in this person's ear male or female like this is love like you don't need to be confused this is love this is what it is and I feel like now someone's realizing that someone's hit, having an epiphany of oh this is what she this energy not male or female this is what this energy was trying to tell me I feel like someone's in a place right now where they're starting to really start to analyze where they're investing their time, money, and heart, right? I feel like for most of you guys in the past here, this person was not really um, considering where they would invest their heart space. They didn't really, that wasn't something that was important to them, really. It wasn't in the forefront. But now that this person's possibly alone, right? Even if they're in a house full of people, this person's feeling alone because their soulmate is no longer there, all right? I feel like this person honestly has this energy in their mind constantly whispering in their ear. It's like they can't get you out of their mind, but for some reason, I feel like this person was so confused that they sabotage this relationship on a consistent basis. Okay, constantly sabotages uh, this relationship. Hit me if you need a, a personal reading. But this person really sabotages for some of you guys. Spirit, what else is going on for my... Yeah, they held back. They held back. They constantly held back. And they're holding back. For some of you guys, even if you hear from this person again, they're in this place where it's like they know... They know that the divine would never steer them wrong. They know that, but they constantly hold back. Even if they hear the truth in their ear, they hold back. But I feel like moving forward now, this person's having like this awakening. They're starting to realize like their past cycles and how their past relationships would go. Because I feel like this person is in a place where possibly like, their past relationships would always be so superficial and had no substance. And now they're like, this relationship had substance. You guys could have been dealing with a Pisces. It had a lot of substance, but this person holds back. They know the truth now. It's like, I hear you now is what I'm hearing. I hear you now. And I want to come in with an apology, but I don't even know how to... I don't even know how to lay it down. I don't even know what to say. Maybe I'll talk about something that's basic or talk about something that really doesn't make any sense and and you could I don't know help me out because I feel like this person doesn't know how to vocalize this they don't know how to vocalize a lot of things when and pertain you know pertaining to love for some of you you're like oh I don't feel like this person will ever come back but you don't know what's in this person's mind right this person holds back so well you didn't even know that this person was going to possibly do these things to you this person's like unpredictable, right? They're unpredictable. But nonetheless here, there's a spiritual connection here, guys. And I feel like this person was confused about it for a very long time. Puzzled, confused, thrown off. Not sure. Not sure how to um, preserve it. Not sure how to love it. Not sure how to keep it. And they lost it. Let me see how your person's feeling right now. 
Let's see what's going on in their mind. Let's figure out what's going on in Capricorn's person's mind. Yeah. All right. Hmm. I feel like for a lot of you guys, I feel like your person feels like you're walking away. Okay. They feel like you're honestly, you've done everything that you've, that you could. And now you're at a point where you're just looking into the future now, looking into new things, looking into new love, looking into new opportunities. You're not really wanting to, you know, put all your energy and your efforts into this. Now you're okay because you've been through this healing. And I feel like this person, honestly, if they were dealing with someone else, I feel like they're honestly putting their foot down and realizing that their happiness is not back there. Their happiness is towards this feminine energy. Okay, male or female. And I feel like they want to talk. They, they want to talk. It may not, like, you may not hear what you want. You know what I mean? You may not hear what you want. And yeah, this person wants to communicate. But again, like I said, what do they want to communicate about? Yeah. This person wants to communicate. They want to communicate. Because in the past here, they were so focused on other investments. Other investments, other things were so important. Other things were a priority. But now they want to talk about, they want to communicate this. I, I do hear them saying like, hey, I've been through so much. I've been going through a lot with my finances. There's a lot of things that hasn't been stable for me. Wanting, wanting uh, empathy in a sense. In a sense. But I feel like more so what they really want to talk about is the self-love that they're stepping into and this love that they felt with you. That's what they want to talk about. How is it going to come out? I don't know. But is this what's on their mind? Yes. Okay. So I hope this resonated for you guys. I will talk to you guys soon. Have an amazing, um, the remaining of August. Okay. Into September, if I don't speak to you guys, uh, enjoy. And I love you guys. Bye.